What up my beautiful flockers, in this video we're gonna go over the worst parrots to have as pets. Now if you find this video valuable, please make sure you hit like and subscribe, and let's get on with the video. Now if you're watching this video, you're probably looking into different parrots you wanna get as a pet. Now here's the thing, there are some parrots I personally don't really recommend as pets for some reasons, some more than others. And to start off with one of those parrots I don't really recommend as pets, is in fact a kaik. But I'm not saying that kaiks are actually bad pets in all instances. I actually think they're really great. And you look at all those videos, they're incredibly fun and they're super passionate pets. No, my reason for it being on this list is more so you need to keep in mind that they don't generally do well with other birds. Now, yes, I put a lot of work into Sakura here, my orange headed kaik, to be nice with the rest of my flock. And it is incredibly difficult. Because the problem with Kaiks is they get incredibly jealous incredibly easy. And they are known to yeet the competition. Kaiks are known to violently and gruesomely take out other birds or animals or people they don't like. Now obviously with people it's just gonna be you know some gross biting damage but when it's other birds the same size as this bird or smaller, I really do not recommend a Kaik. When I first got all the other birds with Sakura, she was very aggressive and constantly tried to attack them and it was pretty difficult to manage, just being honest with you. But now they get along perfectly great, but it's a lot of work and most people I don't think can really handle that. So be really careful if you're considering a Kaik as a pet because you're probably better off it being an only bird. All right, so next up in my list is going to be the Nande Conyer. Now, Conyers are pretty infamous for being loud parrots. Now, while there are a few exceptions, birds like green cheek Conyers and stuff, they're generally very noisy, very frequent, very loud, and uh, you're going to upset quite a number of neighbors as some Conyers, such as the Nande Conyer, can be heard even a few miles away. The Nande Conyer clocks in at 155 decibels. Now for comparison, a 747 jumbo jet engine clocks in at about 140 decibels. Yes, Nande Conyers are loud. And they're not just loud, but they are loud enough to cause permanent ear damage, and as such, you do not want to have a Nande Conyer, at least on your shoulder, screaming in your ear, unless you don't mind going deaf eventually. Now they are fun birds and they make very fun pets, but as this is worse parrots for pets and deafness is not something everyone wants to go through, I don't really recommend Nande Conyers for that reason. Now following up on that is going to be the hawk-headed parrot. Now I've covered hawk-headed parrots in another video before, and I'm going to reiterate that hawk-headed parrots are beautiful birds and personally one of my dream birds to own. However, owning a hawk-headed parrot is unlike owning a parrot. Hawk-headed parrots really are more of a hawk in personality. They are incredibly aggressive, incredibly hormonal, and overall they don't really make good pets. I met up with a hawk-headed parrot owner one time and he had his out with him and when he was keeping his hawk-headed parrot he had to carry a thick stick everywhere with him that he would keep the parrot on because he wouldn't let that bird even remotely near him. But he would bring that bird everywhere still, but he's like, yeah, these birds will just randomly get aggressive and you have to really respect the bird's personal space because they are very hot headed and the smallest little thing they will let you know they're not happy about. And as such, they are just not good pets. Again, parrots are wild animals, but hawk-headed parrots act the most like a wild animal. And as such, they are not good pets and are really more for show birds. Now last up is going to be the hyacinth macaw. Yes, the golden grail of all macaws, the world's largest parrot in terms of wingspan. They are beautiful, jet blue, yellow skin, there's no parrot or bird in existence 
that is as cool as a hyacinth macaw, in my opinion. But, they are not good pets. And the reason being is, well, they happen to be the world's largest parrot. And who wants to have a flying pair of scissors in your household? No, scratch that. They're not just scissors. They're like pliers with like blades attached to them. That's what you're going to have in your house. Now, while they are known for things like the gentle giant and stuff, that's only if they're well taken care of. Any mistake you make in taking care of your hyacinth macaw is going to be a hundred times worse than handle than making that same mistake with a small parrot. It doesn't take much to look up videos and photos of very angry hyacinth macaws destroying their cages, being super aggressive. Their bites are pretty nasty because they have massive beaks. Generally, it's just not a good idea to have a flying dinosaur in your house. And that's exactly what a hyacinth macaw is. And you really should only get a hyacinth macaw if you are absolutely confident in no understanding macaw personalities and macaw lines of thinking and you can actually, you know, take good care of it. Then in that case, they're actually incredibly fun pets, super cuddly. They're basically like a large dog that flies and it's awesome. But if you can't handle it, I don't really recommend it as a pet and that's why I have it as one of the worst parrots you can have for a pet. Now if you guys really want to support this channel, please check out my merch on fivesaflock.com and with that I'll see you next time.